Hey, I just uh, got a uh, Mine Lab uh, six inch coil for the Equinox. <clears throat> See a little bit better like this, but uh, I'm hoping I can uh, walk around the nails and uh, pick a few more things out of my yard here. So that's pretty cool. I'll be tr trying it out today. Hey guys, check this out. <laughs> it's got a uh, little boy. Got the six inch uh, Equinox coil. And uh, I've been debating this. Uh, when I first got the Equinox, I didn't even consider it. And uh, I was gonna get the 15 inch coil, but I've been watching uh, uh, Digging with Seven and uh, the guy from Finding America and it's unbelievable what they're doing with the uh, six inch coil. So I just took it right here to this area where I found the tom back buttons once I got that other program put in, uh, the 2.0 program that uh, they did the software when the Equinox came out with. But uh, I have this thing in uh, iron biased uh, F F2 in one, which means I'm accepting pretty much uh, all the, uh, you know, iron pretty much, but uh, I got a signal right here and it, it read 10 and it didn't, didn't sound great, but it was repeatable and it's this piece of iron. It's real heavy and it's almost like it had something on the end that broke off there. It's like a handle or something. <clears throat> that's pretty cool that's the fir very first target I've had 47 metal detectors over the years and this is the smallest coil I've ever had I think the other the seven inches the other I've had it I think the uh, first one I ever had was the, uh, the Sorrel Royal Sabre and it had a I think a stock seven inch or seven and a half inch coil alrighty I'm gonna get back to hunting see if I can find something else Hey guys, um, I, I got this uh, new uh, lavalier uh, uh, microphone, and I'm hoping it'll uh, make a little bit of, of a difference on uh, my podcast and stuff. So um, <clears throat> I uh, oh, look out! I also got this the other day. I got the six-inch coil. And uh, I got a couple things in my yard, nothing really great, but uh, I decided to come over here because this is the area where I found the pistarine and it's full of iron, just like my yard. There's an old house right here. And they knocked it down. So there's just, you can see garbage everywhere. <laughs> I've picked up 20 times more than this, but uh, I just got my first signal, have been here. Last hour, I've only found one stinking Lincoln. But uh, look at this. It's like a uh, thimble. Yeah. It's broken a little bit, but uh, I'll take that for sure. There's the hole over there. It's uh, I got a scratchy signal that repeated in both, all directions. Uh, real thready, you know, open the hole and it sounded better, so. Uh, it's reading 13 on the meter. All right. Hey guys, um, it looks like it's light, but uh, <laughs> through the camp, my uh, iPhone, it looks pretty bright out but it's not it's like dark it's five o'clock and uh i just got a signal it kept you know reading high and if i got here and i found it got this nail in the hole and i thought oh man so i went back over and i got a blasting 20 
22. I see something here. Wasn't that deep. Oh man, it's a button. I think it's a flat button. That nail was right over top of it. That is so cool. That wasn't even that deep. It's reading like 17, 18. Yeah, about 17, 18. Might be a tomback, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so, the shank doesn't feel right. That's still pretty cool. Can't wait to clean it up and see what's on it. All right. Yeah, I cleaned the button up some. Uh, back is pretty green, but you can see like a uh, line or a couple lines around it. But uh, it's got some gold gilding on it. Let's see if I can get a better picture. There we go. If it's got a pattern or not, but it's uh, it was like uh, five feet from my back door, and it was only three inches deep. But there was a huge nail laying right across it. I think that's might be what th that is is rust right there. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, pretty cool.